So, um, I've encountered a problem today. I believe this is my first breakage on a Fortec. Um, and you may say, okay, the car looks fine, so what's broken about it? Well, it's the servo. It's not steering anymore for some reason. I think I burnt it out. Let's see. Try connecting the try to connect the battery. Controllers on. See, it's not working. I'm turning the wheel. The motor works, but the servo's not. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to replace this 2075 servo in with a temporary 2056. Assuming if it will fit, which most likely is because this one is uh, 10 scale, which came off a of Rustler. Um, it's no big deal because I have a slash two wheel drive with the, with the same 2075 servo because the 2075 servo is literally a uh, servo that came off the tracks of slash. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to start getting to uh, working on it. So, yeah. Okay, um, so for some reason I cannot take this out, so what I did is, I just basically just took out the housing of a 20, 2056 motor, 20, no, sorry, 2056 servo, and put it onto the 2075 because I cannot take this out, and it works fine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace it back into the car and see how what happens. I'm just about to uh, put the servo back. Well, I already put the servo back in. All I need to do is I'm just gonna uh, put the receiver cover back on and see how it goes out. Because, um, because you know, it should work by then. All I just need to do is I need to, once I put the servo, reinstall the servo, I'm going to put this little spring on it and stuff just like other pieces for it this piece and other crap um, yeah so that's what I'm going to do so I'll take pictures of it and stuff right now Well, uh, I'm happy and not happy about this, but uh, what I'm not happy is the servo is, I've been working on this damn servo for quite some, quite some time already. It's already like almost quarter to six right now, and I started working on this since three o'clock, I believe, I don't remember, but anyways, I... I started doing this because my twenty original 2075 uh, servo gave up on me. So that was basically my first breakage on the Fortec. Um, so I just basically used a 2056 uh, servo instead. Um, but the only problem is I tried to take off this little piece here. The little shaft that goes to the servo saver. I tried taking it out. Um, but unfortunately, I, I couldn't do that because um, it was hard, so hard to take out. So I just, just basically put the 2075 uh, servo cover on there since it was basically the same size as the 2056. I just don't know what's the dif difference between the two. Um, so if you guys uh, know what the difference is, just let me know. But anyways, the other reason why th that I'm happy that I already fixed it yeah, which I said, I just fixed it, and it actually works okay. So now it's working again. So, um... Happy, happy for that. And, um... Uh, some people say it's four-wheel drive, but it's all-wheel... It's technically all-wheel drive. I just don't really understand some of these RC manufacturers call their cars four-wheel drive if... Um, if all wheels are being driven per permanently, 
uh, all four wheels are being permanently driven because with four wheel drive, uh, there is a difference between four wheel drive and all wheel drive. I mean, they do sound the same, but four wheel drive allows you to disconnect the front diffs and rear diffs, uh, disengage and engage the differentials and stuff. That's basically like the TRX4 and the um, Summit and basically any other scale crawlers could do. That's technically a four wheel drive, but if it's like permanent, where you cannot really lock diffs or something, it's all wheel drive. But, I mean, the only thing that they do have in common is four wheels can be driven, but four wheel drive you can just uh, disengage differentials, uh, just like in the real cars. But anyways, enough of that. I already got my servo, I put, I put a different servo in it, and it works fine. So, um, yeah.